Hello, welcome to Knowledge Masters. Knowledge Masters is a quick recall academic competition for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade students from area schools. My name is E.G. Thompson, and I will be your moderator. Although the teams are familiar with the rules, I would like to state that while Knowledge Masters is similar to Governor's Cup, it is a Hardin County Schools competition. Today's contestants are from Foundation Christian and from Stuart Pepper. Uh, now let's meet the team members and sponsors from Foundation Christian. J.T. Webb is the 13-year-old son of Mariah and Kevin Blaylock. J.T. is enrolled in the seventh grade at FCA. His favorite subjects are science and math. He enjoys basketball and archery. J.T. hopes to become a police officer someday. Lola Norman is the 11-year-old daughter of Keith and Nicole Norman. She is a sixth grade student at Foundation Christian Academy. Lola's favorite subjects are math and science. She enjoys archery, music, and volleyball. She wants to become a businesswoman. Willow Pascal is the eighth grade daughter. <laughs> Willow Pascal is an eighth grader at Foundation Christian Academy. She is the daughter of Heather and John Pascal. Her favorite topics are math and science. She loves to sing and play volleyball. She hopes to become a chemistry teacher. Colton Coleman is a sixth grader at Foundation Christian Academy. He is the son of Rhonda Lawrence. His favorite subjects are history and science and English. He enjoys video games and music. He hopes to someday become a grammar teacher. Our sponsors are Howard White and Miss Brenda Brown. Mr. White has coached academic teams since 1982. He is a member of the KAAC Hall of Fame. He teaches science this year at FCA. This year is a rebuilding year for our academic team. Mr. White is proud of each student on this year's team. Miss Brenda Brown is um, a sponsor of our academic team. She is married and has two children and twin grandchildren. She taught in the Warren County system for five years before she came to FCA. Ms. Brown has been teaching at FCA for 12 years. In her spare time, her husband and her, she likes to go hiking. And now we'll meet the team and sponsors from um, Stuart Pepper. Sophia Valves is a seventh grader at Stuart Pepper Middle School. She is a bill sponsor in KYA, enjoys reading, and wants to pursue a career in law. Jordan Stoll is a seventh grader at Stuart Pepper Middle School. He also plays soccer for Meade County High School. Colin Butler is an eighth, is an eighth grader and has little free time. He enjoys running and has a dog. Paul Slack is a seventh grader at Stuart Pepper Middle School. He also is on the Meade County High School swim team. Michelle Funk is the assistant coach and has 11 years experience with the academic team. She teaches the seventh grade literacy and eighth grade arts and humanities at SBMS. In her free time, she enjoys spending time with her three children and husband, singing, quilting, and escaping from reality within the pages of a good book. Mrs. Ashcraft teaches seventh grade mathematics at SPMS. This is her first year as the academic team coach and her third year of teaching. She graduated from the University of Louisville and just recently got married in July. Coaches, you may return to your seats at this time. Teams, are you ready? Okay. Contestants, I need you to remember that you may interrupt the reading of a toss-up question by buzzing in. If you're, however, if your answer is incorrect, the question will then be reread in its entirety for the opposing team. Teams, you may confer on bonus questions but the captain must give the response. You may not designate. Remember, the bounce back bonus will be in effect. All questions are worth one point, and each half is 10 minutes long. The first question is the toss-up for either team. To do the best 
one can, and to play one's proper role is to pull one's own what? Stuart Pepper vows. Wait. Correct. Your bonus. What is the perimeter of a field 60 yards by 25 yards? 170. Correct. <laughs> Toss up. The song, Follow the Drinking Gourd, is associated with what railroad? Stuart Pepper Vowels. Underground. Correct. <laughs> Your bonus. For more than 1,000 years, most people accepted the theory of what second century Alexandrian scientist that the earth lay at the center of the universe. No answer. Captain? Charles Darwin. Incorrect. The correct answer is Ptolemy. Toss up. Not since the armistice of 1918 had Paris witnessed a demonstration of popular enthusiasm and excitement equal to that displayed by the throngs flocking for news about what American flyer in 1927? Stuart Pepper, Butler. Earhart. Incorrect. Time, the correct answer is Charles Lindbergh. Toss up, while a cyborg is a system that is part human, and part robot, what kind of machine is built to both look and act like a human? Foundation Christian Coleman. An android. Correct. <laughs> Bonus. What is the antonym for a theatrical performance described as a flop? A success. A success? Correct. Toss up. Donna receives a weekly salary of $400 plus a 15% commission for all sales above her 3,000 weekly quota. This week, she had 5,000 in sales. So how much did she gross? Time. The correct answer is $700. Toss up. Until it was dismantled in 1989, a wall divided what major. Stuart Pepper Butler. Berlin Wall. Berlin Wall? Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Bonus. How many adjectives are in this line? Tom Laughlin, who was the anti-establishment movie hero, Billy Jack, now wants to kick his way into the presidency on a platform of nuclear disarmament and tax cuts. Two. Incorrect, Captain. Eleven. Incorrect. The correct answer is four. Toss up. Capricornus is most prominent during the autumn in which hemisphere? Stuart Pepper Slack. Northern hemisphere. Correct. Bonus. In a bag there are 40 beans, 13 of which are black, 9 are brown, 11 are red, 7 are green. What is the fewest number of beans a blindfolded person could pick from the bag to guarantee she has two beans of the same color? Time? Captain. Nine. Incorrect. The correct answer is five. Toss up. 
Many civilians, including Akkad, Sumer, Babylonia, civilization. I'm sorry, thank you. Many civilizations, including Akkad, Sumer, Babylonia, Assyria, that is, and Assyria, developed in what region of South? Foundation Christian Coleman. Hesitation. <sighs> Reading in its entirety. Many civiliz civilizations, including Akkad, Sumer, Babylonia, Assyria developed in what region of Southwest Asia between the Euphrates and Tigris rivers? Stuart Pepper, Butler. Mesopotamia. Correct. <laughs> Bonus. During a play, the end of what is generally indicated by lowering the curtain or turning up the house lights? Act. Correct. <laughs> Toss up. What is the German equivalent of the Spanish word miércoles? Time. The correct answer is mitwak. Or Wednesday, I think. Uh, Toss up. What part of speech is unnecessarily used? in each of these examples. Where did you get this at? Take your shoes off of that bed. Where did she go to? They will go on, they will go later on. Foundation Christian Coleman. Slang. Incorrect. Stuart Pepper Slack. Punctuation. Incorrect. The correct Answer is preposition. Toss up. Convert the number of states on the U.S. flag into a binary number. Time. The correct answer is 110010. Toss up. In what country did the traditional tea ceremony develop? from its roots in Zen Buddhism. Foundation Christian Pascal. India. Incorrect. Stuart Pepper Butler. China. Incorrect. The correct answer is Japan. Toss up. What phenomenon is responsible for the shape of liquid droplets or soap bubbles? Stuart Pepper Butler. Boiling. Incorrect. Foundation Christian Pascal. Chemical reaction. Incorrect. The correct answer is surface tension. Toss up. These sites are in what state? Yorktown, Williamsburg, Monticello. Foundation Christian Pascal. Pennsylvania. Incorrect. Stuart Pepper Stahl. Virginia. Correct. <laughs> Bonus. For any number X, the number that gives zero when added to x is called the additive what? Additive property. Incorrect. Identity. Incorrect. The correct answer is inverse. Toss up. Name the art of improving the grounds of a home or an estate Stuart Pepper stole. Renovation. Incorrect. In its entirety, name the art of improving the grounds of a home or a state by artistically arranging. Foundation Christian Pascal. Landscaping. Correct. <laughs> Toss up. What country, I'm sorry, your, your bonus, your bonus. What country is immediately east of the country in which Lisbon is the capital? India? Incorrect. Captain? No answer. The correct answer is Spain. Toss up. These disorders affect which body system? Scoliosis? 
at the end of the half, our score is Foundation Christian 3, Stuart Pepper 8. Welcome to the second half of Knowledge Masters competition between Foundation Christian and Stuart Pepper. Uh, we would like to take this time to, uh, during this intermission, uh, learn some things about each of the schools. And we have a video from Foundation Christian to learn about their school. Foundation Christian Academy, located at 2480 Three Springs Road, Bowling Green, Kentucky, is committed to academic excellence in a fun Christian environment. Accredited by Advance Ed and the National Christian School Association, FCA begins teaching children to read in preschool and begins preparing students for success on the ACT in third grade. All the while, FCA teaches and exemplifies Christian values with daily Bible lessons and weekly chapel. FCA students learn to work, play, sing, and pray as part of a complete educational experience. FCA also offers before and after school care, as well as summer day camps. With a 40-acre campus, FCA has begun construction on a gymnasium and 10 additional classrooms that will be ready for use next school year. FCA High School is set to open in 2020. Committed to affordability, tuition at FCA is 20 to 30 percent lower than other area Christian schools and has a generous scholarship program as well as multiple child discounts. Come fly with the Falcons and experience the difference at FCA. And now, uh, to tell us about Stuart Pepper, we also have a video. During the half, substitutions, there were no substitutions. Uh, normally there are, we have none today, you're doing so well. Um, teams, let's begin, if you're ready, with a toss-up question to begin the second half. What enormous dam that backs up the waters of the Yangtze River was completed in 2012? Time. The correct answer is Three Gorges Dam. Toss up. This stanza from a Carl Sandburg poem is about what kind of music? Sling your knuckles on the bottom of the happy tin pans. Let your trombones ooze and go husha, husha, husha with the slippery sandpaper. Stuart Pepper Slack. Jazz. Correct. <laughs> Bonus. What is the cube of the number of years in one term for a U.S. Senator? Eight. Incorrect, Captain. Forty-eight. Incorrect. The correct answer is 216. Toss up a 2,000 pound object two feet from a fulcrum will be balanced by a 100 pound object. How far from the fulcrum? Time, the correct answer is 40 feet. Toss up, as what part of speech is the infinitive used in this sentence? Ron is not in a position to argue. Foundation Christian, Pascal. Verb. Incorrect. Uh, 
Stuart Pepper, Butler. Linking verb. Incorrect. The correct answer is adjective. Toss up. Since it consists of thousands of small stones, what art form is illustrated by the... Foundation Christian Pascal. Mosaic. Correct. Your bonus. A certain biblical verse speaks about beating spears into pruning hooks and what into plowshares? Yeah. Rakes. Rakes. Incorrect. No Got answer. It. No answer. Uh, the correct answer, swords. Toss up. A jaguar travels two and a half times as fast as a pinto. How long would it take to go 600 miles in the pinto if it takes the jaguar 10 hours to cover the distance? Foundation Christian Pascal. 25 hours. Correct. <laughs> Bonus. What two Asian countries have the highest population? China and Tokyo. Incorrect. Time, Captain. China and India. Correct. <laughs> Toss up. While predators are usually larger than their prey and tend to consume most, if not all, of their prey, what symbionts tend to be much smaller than their prey and live only on a portion of the host energy intake? Stuart Pepper, Slack. Vulture. Incorrect. Foundation Christian, Pascal. Parasites. Correct. Your bonus. You invest $1,000 in an outstanding certificate of de deposit at 20% interest compounded annually. What is the total amount of interest you will earn at the end of two years? Time, Captain? 400. Incorrect. The correct answer is $440. Toss up. Who wrote a story about a scientist traveling into the future to meet the Eloi and the Morlocks? Foundation Christian Pascal. C.S. Lewis. Incorrect. Stuart Pepper Vowles. Jules Verne. Incorrect. The correct answer is H.G. Wells. Toss up. These were gods of what ancient civilization? Ra. Stuart Pepper Butler. Egypt. Correct. <laughs> Bonus. Name the only Canadian province that borders upon the Pacific Ocean. Quebec. Incorrect, Captain? No answer. The correct answer is British Columbia. Toss up. Old Uncle Dickie has a pain in his neck, along with headaches, dizziness, and blurred vision. Given that he, has, he was stopped at a traffic light when he got re rear-ended by a careless motorist a few days ago, name the injury that he probably had sustained. Stuart Pepper stole. Whiplash. Correct. Bonus, one foot three inches is what fraction of a yard? Five over 12. Correct. <laughs> Toss up, by what right did the pharaohs of ancient Egypt rule? Foundation Christian Coleman. Ruler. Incorrect. Time, the correct answer is divine right. Toss up. 
Before you were born, most of your skeleton was made of what material? Foundation Christian Coleman. Cartilage. Correct. Bonus. In what novel did Mar excuse me? Uh, in what novel by Mark Twain does a skilled New England mechanic awaken to the prodding of a spear wielded by a knight on a horseback? Tom Sawyer. Incorrect, Captain. No answer. The correct answer is a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. Toss up. What kind of metal is indicated in this chorus from a song? She's only a bird in a gilded cage, a beautiful sight to see. Foundation Christian Pascal. Steel. Incorrect. Stuart Pepper stole. Gold. Correct. <laughs> Bonus. The Oregon Treaty signed with Britain in 1846 gave the territory south of the 49th parallel to the United States, overriding the cries for what latitude or fight? No answer. Captain? Treaty of Paris. Incorrect. The correct answer is 54 degrees 40 minutes. I think that's where they got 54. 40 or fight. Toss up. Things float a little higher in salt water because what property of salt? Stuart Pepper stole. Density. Correct. <laughs> Bonus. What is the last word in this excerpt from a Shakespearean play? But soft. What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east and Juliet is the West. Incorrect. No answer. No answer. The correct answer is sun. Toss up. This refers to what? There is a law above all human enactments written upon the heart by the finger of God. Foundation Christian, Norman. Ten Commandments. Incorrect. In its entirety. There is a law above all human enactments written upon the heart by the finger of God. While men despise fraud, they shall reject with indignation the guilty fantasy that man can hold property in man. This refers to slavery. Toss up. An arithmetic sequence is one, three, At the end of the match, uh, the final score is Foundation Christian 7, Stuart Pepper 15. Congratulations to the winning team and to both teams for excellent competition. Thank you. Join us for our next Knowledge Master.